Hello, and welcome to the Creighton Simulation Evaluation Instrument, or SEI, training website. I am Julie Manns, one of the developers of the Creighton SEI, and I am pleased that you have chosen this instrument for use in your institution. To begin, I would like to note a few specifics about the Creighton SEI. First, the instrument is specifically designed to provide a quantitative evaluation of nursing students in a simulated clinical experience, or SEE. The instrument was designed to be comprehensive in nature, in that it evaluates not only the student's ability to carry out a technical skill, such as inserting a Foley catheter, but also evaluates their ability to interpret assessment findings appropriately, communicate effectively with the patient, family, and interdisciplinary healthcare team, respond to abnormal findings, develop an appropriate plan of care for each situation, and reflect upon the simulation as a whole. Secondly, the instrument is designed to evaluate the student's performance as a group or team, rather than evaluate individual performance. Thirdly, the instrument is designed to be able to be used with, one, a variety of scenarios, from chest pain to diabetic ketoacidosis, two, a variety of patients, from children to adults, and three, varying levels of students, from beginning level SCEs focused on patient identification and skill acquisition to complex advanced scenarios. For clarity, it will be most helpful if you have available a copy of the Creighton SEI with you as we progress through the remainder of this orientation. In the top right corner, there is a space for the date of the SCE, and at the top left, a space for the name of the SCE. On the bottom left, there is a section for the name of the student participants and the name of the faculty evaluator. The right column of the form is for anecdotal comments regarding the group performance. You will also note that the Creighton SEI is divided up into four components, assessment, communication, critical thinking, and technical skills. Under each component heading are competencies related to that particular component. For example, assessment is a component, obtains pertinent subjective data is one of the competencies that make up that component. There are a total of 22 possible competencies. Note that if a competency is deemed not applicable by the faculty, no score is assigned to that competency and it is not included in the calculation of the passing score. For example, it has been our experience that time has not always allowed for a review of documentation and therefore has not been included in the calculation of the total score. Each competency is assigned either a score of 0 or a score of 1. A zero indicates does not demonstrate competency. A one indicates demonstrates competency. A score of zero or one is assigned by the faculty for each competency that is applicable to the scenario. The total score, located at the bottom of the instrument, is calculated by adding together the total of the competencies following observation of the SCE. The passing score is calculated by taking the total number of applicable competencies used times 0.75. This passing score of 75% was chosen as it is congruent with the standards set forth by our School of Nursing. The determination of a passing score could be modified to match the grading scale at your institution. For accurate and consistent scoring, it is essential that faculty have a discussion about the scenario. The purpose of this discussion is to determine the expected minimum behaviors for each competency on the Creighton SEI. When determining the expected minimum behaviors, faculty should take into consideration the level of the student involved in the scenario and the objectives or learning outcomes of the SCE. With these in mind, faculty should reach a consensus about the expected minimum behaviors that are required for each competency on the Creighton SEI to obtain a score of 1 demonstrates competency. The next step of your orientation to the Creighton SEI is to click on the link at the left entitled Training Documents. On this link, we have provided you with a sample Creighton SEI discussion worksheet and also a document to assist with scoring of the instrument. Please print off a copy of the discussion worksheet. This will assist you in following along with the discussion videos as well as reaching agreement on your own expected minimum behaviors. So please click on the link at the left entitled Training Procedures. This will lead you to a page with links to 1. View video clips related to the components of the Creighton SEI, Assessment, Communication, 
critical thinking and technical skills, and two, examples of completed discussion worksheets that have resulted from the video discussion. These discussions are examples of faculty taking a specific scenario that will be used in their course and predetermining what they deem to be the essential minimum behaviors for each of the competencies on the Creighton SEI. This is to assist in providing consistency among faculty evaluators when using the instrument. We believe that if you use the procedure outlined here, you will be able to achieve consistent assessment of student performance during simulated clinical experiences. A mental status check. The following video clips feature three faculty members discussing a scenario that will be used with senior level baccalaureate nursing students. There will be a group of four students, two of whom are in the role of the nurses, one who is the voice of the patient, and one who is in the role of the family member. The scenario features a 75-year-old male who is transferred up to the medical surgical unit from the emergency department after being brought in from home by paramedics. He's been complaining of worse breathing over the past few days. He has a long-standing history of emphysema and a previous acute myocardial infarction 12 years ago and states that he has had an upper respiratory infection for about two weeks. He is on oxygen therapy at home and continues to use cigarettes. Over the course of this scenario, the patient requires an albuterol nebulizer treatment for shortness of breath and wheezing. He requires initiation of IV fluid and has abnormal lab findings, including respiratory alkalosis and hypernatremia. He then progresses to develop increasing respiratory distress and fluid volume overload. Students are expected to recognize these changes, notify the interdisciplinary team members, and intervene appropriately. Faculty here are discussing each of the components of the Creighton SEI and deciding what the minimum expected behaviors will be for each of the competencies of the Creighton SEI. Please feel free to follow along with a copy of the Creighton SEI and a discussion worksheet as you view the following videos. At the completion of each video, please view the sample discussion worksheet to see what was concluded by the faculty to be mandatory for receiving a score of 1 demonstrates competency.